Gearboxes need proper lubrication to function correctly. How do I grease a gearbox? The gearboxes we use in our robots are not entirely different from the same kind of gearboxes in your favorite automobile. They provide a means to get a specific desired output, torque, and speed from the motors on the other side. With all those fast moving parts, there's a lot going on. One of the biggest things is heat. The enemy of all things. Electronics that get too hot, super unhappy. Same is true for gearboxes. When you have all these moving parts, if it's just the metal on metal, it gets very hot and will wear out super quick. That's why on your vehicles, you have to do oil changes. Same thing for your transmissions. Brett, you just mentioned oil. The video is titled, how do I grease? You're right. They're very similar, actually. I have some three-in-one oil here, not sponsored, as an example. The oil works well in a vehicle because it's entirely contained. The engine and the transmission kind of have this giant pool of oil in the bottom that gets recirculated. Think about this gearbox on your robot, though. If you pour oil on it, it's just gonna roll off and onto the carpet floor. And your FTA will not be too terribly thrilled about that. That's one of the reasons why we use grease. Grease has very similar properties to oil and that works to remove heat from an area and help reduce the friction. As one gear tooth interacts with the next gear tooth, there's a lot of friction that's happening there. Friction makes heat, and as we've already established, heat is no good. So what happens with the grease is it creates a small little layer that helps those gear teeth slide past each other while still transferring the torque from one shaft to another. Can I put too much or too little grease? Yes, you can, but don't worry. It's pretty easy to know the difference. So in this case, the few teeth that have grease have entirely too much. The idea is the grease supplements and helps the transition of power from the gear teeth. If the entire valley is completely filled with grease, there's no room for the other gear tooth to go in. That'll add extra stress rather than helping. On the flip side, the rest of the gear has no grease, and it would take a long time for this grease to naturally work its way around the gear. So, so that's no good, and this is no good. The best way that I've found to ensure a good amount of grease is apply just a little bit into each tooth. Not a ton, not a lot, but you may have to use your fingers and get a little dirty because the best way really is to kind of smoosh it around. And you'll need to do the same thing with all of the gear pairs. If I grease just one gear, mesh it with another gear and plan for that, to lubricate the second gear, that's not gonna be enough. Just here in my hands, moving these gears back and forth, you can see that the grease started to squeeze out on the sides. That's kind of an indication that, oh, there was too much grease there. So to a degree, it'll kind of remedy the issue for you, but you don't wanna start it with completely compacted gears. Greasing the gears loosely in space like this might prove a little challenging to grease them evenly, so, Sometimes, if you have your gearbox already assembled without motors attached, it can be even easier to properly grease them. What I'm gonna do in this instance is I'm going to apply a little bit of the grease where the gears mesh, and then I'm going to spin the output shaft of the gearbox here to help move it around. So I can see where the grease stops on this smaller gear on the output shaft, so I can bring my grease packet back over here apply a little bit more and spin the output shaft again. And as I do this, this does two important things. It helps kind of break in the gears a little bit. And what that means is sometimes gears will have small little imperfections in them that could result in loud sounding gearboxes or a little bit of roughness. But as the gears wear in together, those little um, imperfections will wear out. We'll spin the gears apply a little bit of grease. And once you see that the gear teeth all have some amount of grease on them, 
you can come back and clean it up. So there's a visual of how to know how much grease is the right amount of grease. How do you know there's not the right amount of grease? How, how could I do it wrong? If you put, let's say a, a metric glob of grease in your gearbox and you spin it and grease comes flying out of the gearbox, that's too much grease. That's not ideal. Too much grease, believe it or not, can add friction to the gears, which if you recall, is the opposite of what grease is supposed to do. So too much grease, not great. Not enough grease, also not great. <laughs> grease is not optional. If you want your gearbox to survive the season and last and get the most out of it, you need to grease the gearbox. It's crucial for gearbox functionality. And that's how you grease a gearbox.